Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Angela. How are you? Good, good, teacher. Very well. And you? How I'm are good. You? I'm okay. I'm good, too. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Angela, entonces usted, usted está de una laptop. Sí. En una el laptop. sonido suyo de una laptop. Sí. Ah, okay. Y no tiene, por ejemplo... Audífonos normales para meterle la laptop. Fíjese que tengo un problema con eso. Eh, yo uso de unos que son como, eh, como, como esponjita, uh -huh. que no me molesta porque cuando me topan aquí me agarra un terrible dolor de cabeza y no lo soporto. Ah, ok. Eh, ajá, entonces, pero eh, por ahí anda uno que no los he, se me han extraviado y son esos los que uso. Los que uso normalmente pero tiene que ser una cosita que no me moleste el, el oído, porque si no, me agarran unos dolores medio raros de cabeza por, por, por esas cosas, por los audífonos. Ok. Y ayer estaba lloviendo, entonces no al, al compañero no le escuchaba, le escuchaba mejor a usted que al compañero. Oh, ok. Así que pero voy a tratar okay. de usar Sí, le digo, porque fíjese que he notado mucho de que a veces usted no oye bien, no, no escucha bien. Sí, sí, no se escucha. Y este y a veces hay mucho ruido, porque ahorita he cerrado aquí, porque a veces abro por, por el gran calor. Uh -huh. Y ahorita tengo cerrado, pero se oye como que pasan los perritos, ahora están peleando, se oyen los de vecinos. Entonces uh -huh. esa interferencia eh, sí, molesta, pues uno... Y, y eso de, de hecho a mí me cuesta escuchar, entender bien el, el inglés, porque tengo que estar como analizando, componiendo ahí, armando la, la tratando de, 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 de comprender, pues, porque siento que eso sí me está costando y lo que estoy haciendo es como escuchando conversaciones para irme familiarizando con, con las palabras. Sí, yo a veces siento que lo que usted, usted quiere se entiende palabras y quiere, sí. quiere, quiere armar como el rompecabezas, pero por eso es que siempre le digo, cuando le hago la pregunta, se, a veces se la hago como tres, cuatro veces, pero hoy entendí que es porque no puede escuchar bien a veces, pero yo, lo que he dicho, si usted no entendió la pregunta número uno y número dos, si no vuelve, le pide a alguien que se la repita, si no entendió la, la pregunta, nunca va a dar una buena respuesta. Sí, así es, ajá. definitivamente. Uh -huh. Sí, entonces, ajá, por eso. Pero hasta ayer me di cuenta que quizá era por sus audífonos. Pero, ok, no, no problem. ¿Me permiten claro. un segundo, class? Wait. Sí, sí, no hay problem. Okay, so welcome everybody. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Angela.
Okay, so yes. Hey, how are you? Bert. Good. Hey. Great. I been thinking of buying a new earphone because as Angela sometimes I don't understand. <laughs> so I need the the earphone. Why don't you buy a do you guys use I, I recommend a headset? Headsets are good. Yeah. yeah, I will. I will buy. It. Yeah, because sometimes I don't. I don't understand what you what you saying. Yesterday I was, I couldn't understand what Ronald was saying. It was confusing. But you know what, Bert? I, I, Bert I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Maybe, maybe it's two things. Number one, maybe it's your computer, or number two, maybe it's your connection. Why? Because, for example, yesterday, um, I, I I was listening fine, and I think the majority of the class, they said they were listening okay, everything was okay. So only you and Angela had the problem. So maybe, maybe, maybe it could be two things. It's your computer or the internet maybe yesterday was a little, because if it was in general, it's the system. So let's see. That's today. weird because I, 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 only with Ronald, I wasn't able to understand him, but really, only I was Ronald? able to understand you. Oh, and okay. yeah, because uh, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, that was strange. Huh? Okay, but okay. Claudia, hi, Claudia Hiron. Hi. How are you? I'm doing well. What about you? I'm okay. Thank you. How was your day today? Mm -hmm. It was my day off. It was okay. What did you do? I just rest. Um, nothing important. I just slept a lot. I woke up at 12 noon <laughs> because it was, it was raining. <laughs> oh, nice. Yes. Yes, you know, today in the complete morning in El Salvador, it wasn't cold, but yes. it, it was not hot. So it was good. It was good. All right, Jonathan, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jonathan. How are you today? Mm. I feel... A little sick. Yeah, why? Okay, Jonathan, you too. You don't. You you have the computer audio, correct? What? You have the computer audio, correct? Yes. The problem with the I I'm, uh, I am listening to your father or uncle or brother. I don't know, but I am listening. So sometimes the problem is that the microphone picks up everything surrounding. So I don't know. Maybe if you have. Here, but you do have earphones. Then oh, why? Yeah. Then why do I listen to your father? Okay, Allison, how are you? Hello, teacher. How's your day today? Everything good? Everything. Some some stress from work, but it is okay. It's a day. Oh yeah. Sometimes you need a little stress. Denia, Allison, Angelica, welcome. Okay, so we were doing yesterday simple past and present perfect, correct? Yes, teacher. Teacher. All right, let's do this. Dun, dun, dun. Let me share my screen. Do you see my screen? Yes, yes, I see. All right, good. Do you see the lady? Yes. All right, let's listen to her. Do you watch news on TV? Do you read the newspaper? The following words will help you speak a little bit better when talking about news. 
How would you define each of these news events? Epidemic, famine, hijacking, kidnapping, natural disaster, political crisis, rebellion, recession, robbery, scandal. Discuss the questions, ask follow-up questions and add extra information. How closely do you follow the news? What kind of stories interest you? What do you think was the most important news story in the last few years? Do you think stories about sports or celebrities count as real news? In class, let's talk about a relevant news you watched or heard today. What do you think was the most important news? Okay, so we're going to talk about news today. In El Salvador, what do you think is the most important news today? The districts, distritos. <laughs> The districts. Yes. But can In you answer? Can, okay, good. Thank you. Uh, Allison, can you please answer that complete? Uh, the, which was the answer? The question, sorry. Wh which is the biggest news in El Salvador in this moment? Oh, wait, biggest... wait. I'm sorry. The biggest national news. The, the biggest national news new is uh, the Shaintu district on El Salvador. Yes. Está viendo. Hoy voy a hacer soya popaneco, soya popanteco, something like that. <laughs> okay, yes, but the district is a, it's a, it's a big news in this moment. What about Bert? What do you think is the biggest news in the social media? Mm, well, I've been watching a lot of news, but what is relevant is that um, related to the what Bukele said, the three uh, to reduce the no, no, battles, but, I think. No, but I'm saying in the social media in general, not not only in El Salvador in general. Ah, I mean, uh, well, I think is something related to, I mean. On my, I mean, social media is uh, the Ukraine, the Mexico. I mean, I watch all the news. <laughs> what is going on in Peru, Mexico, and United States, the fentanyl, and stuff like that. Okay. This is really helpful. Yeah. I, I know that you don't like soccer, and I know maybe this is not an important news, but this was a very, very hot news today. It was about Messi. Um, Messi was everywhere today, everywhere in Twitter, everywhere in Facebook. And maybe maybe you don't follow Messi. Maybe you don't. I know that you don't like soccer. But um, that was the big news today because Messi will, will now start playing in Miami. Once again, it's not an important news. It's not something relevant. But... It was big. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, Bert, since you watched the news, what's happening with Canada and the smoke? In, it's affecting um, New York, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. New York, you say uh, fire uh, on the, I mean, and the forest on, on, in Canada. But I, I didn't track the news because I sometimes, I, 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 I don't think it's relevant to, but it, for me, because what I was in the news is, but it's related to that it's fire. I mean, incendio. Yeah. Okay, no, but fire so, on the, on the so there is a there is a big fire in this moment in Canada. Yeah, in Canada, so it's affecting to New York. Is a lot of smoke and it's dark. According to the news, it's so dark. Wow, like the rain. I mean, storm. So can you imagine how big that fire is? Yeah, it's such huge because it's Canada. I mean, I I, I wonder that it's a different country. Those, those places, I mean, it's so big, so huge, yeah. a lot of tree and forest. I think that's why it's so so big. The problem. It's similar to like what happened in Chernobyl. Remember that the fire yeah. got so big that it started going to Germany, and 
that's when people realize. I think it was in Germany, no? The the uh, the, the smoke. Chernobyl? No, no, no. The smoke. Mm. The smoke started crossing Germany. Ahí es cuando por eso fue que todo el mundo se dio cuenta. Hey, what's happening? When when the fire. Yeah, you're right. When the you know. Yeah. Well, I yeah I heard about that today, but I haven't. I haven't seen it. Okay. Um, another big news today, I think, is that um, Congress, los diputados, they voted for 60, 60 diputados, not 84. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. They don't reduce it to 60. I think it's good. 60 place. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you because... Uh, but... It's complicated to see only that 60 people because what I see is what I think is that the all the ideas or feelings is not represented in that amount of person because whether you like it or not, uh, vamos uh, or the nuestro tiempo. In a way, it's representing a few minorities of the population, but now they will be not represented because. But they but will you know not... what? But you know what? I think mm -hmm. I th I think that um, the minority like nuestro tiempo and and the vamos, I think they're very stupid. Because no, and the reason why is. Be okay, you said people will not vote for them. But remember, this is democratic voting. Why will people not vote for them? Because uh, what is that woman from Nuestro Tiempo? What is her name? Lacinos. The, the, the one that represents Nuestro Tiempo? He's a guy. He's a dude. No, no, no. Yeah, it's um, Richard Wright. No, but the woman, the, the La Diputada. No, what's her name? Uh, vamos. Yeah, vamos. Claudia. Uh -huh. Claudia Ortiz. Yeah. I, I think her, she's not very intelligent. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's, for me, it's logic. If the news says 90% of the people follow the president and 90% of the people are happy with with what the president is doing with the gangs, why does this woman say, liberenlo ya? <laughs> you know, it, I, I'm, oh my God, really? So what, what I think is the, the problem, the minority, they don't have intelligent people. Maybe if they had somebody good, because El Salvador, we need a second option now because basically there's no more options. <laughs> but um, I don't know. If if I were, if let's say if I were for, I don't know, if I were for Vamos on Nuestro Tiempo, I would, I would tell people what they want to hear. I would say, congratulations, president, you're doing a good job. And people would say, hey, but you're the opposition. Why why do you follow the president? And I say, because he I have to admit he's a he's doing a good job. Maybe I am being hypocrite, but people will like me. Hey, hey, he's good. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But no ninguno, see? No, nobody that says okay. honestly, I think we think the same way because that's the what I why they it's okay to criticize the president. I mean, it's okay. But in the other hand, they have to admit to exactly. be humble and say, hey, the president is doing a real good job in on this area. And if they do they that, people... have to recognize it. Exactly. Yeah. And people will say, hey, hey, he's good because he is the opposition, but he recognizes this. Right. And, but and I, they, whatever the president does, is wrong everything is wrong yes. even it's good for the population even is i mean that's the 
wrong thing about it. That's, and, that's stupid. It's and stupid. remember, and remember <laughs> that the news, international, everybody says the president has ninety or more percent of support. So why am I contradict that? <laughs> you know. So I, I think I think they have to be so if vamos like you said the my the minority if they don't get elected I don't think it's because of the president I think it's because they are really really stupid. Well, not... I remember <clears throat> there was a girl, her name was like, I guess it was Felisa Felisa Cristales. It was from she was from Arena, mm -hmm. and she was trying to support the president. But the president didn't take her into consideration in the <clears throat> the political. How how can I say? I mean, Arena Arena didn't support her, and she's she, as no, she's not into. How can I say that? that O sea, Arena, que es un partido político. How can I say partido político? Political party. Political party, okay. So she's not in any political party now. She's, she but I, I, I think betrayed everybody. So no, I, I think she will. Uh, I was watching one of her videos like two days ago, and she says she's going to give a big announcement. So I don't know. Maybe maybe in this coming election, she will come back for a... Or something, <laughs> maybe a yes, mayor. I think that was not too smart in uh, because she has been without any job during the last three years, I guess, because she was supporting the president. So, I mean, it would be nice to, to praise the president or criticize him if he's doing something good or bad, but mm. that may not be too smart in this country, or at least I don't take it like that. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. But, you know, it wasn't, I think it wasn't the president's obligation to, oh, okay, come with me, like with um, with the ambassador. What's her name? Felisa. No, no, the, the ambassador. Uh, Mayorga. Mayorga, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So, yeah, I know. But what I'm saying is, like, sometimes... I am teaching English. If you can't beat the enemy, join him. You know, si no le puede ganar el enemigo, únete. So I mean, for 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 interest, for hypo hypocrisy or whatever, but it's true. You, these people from Nuevas uh, Vamos, they can talk all they want, but they will not convince the people. So maybe if they change their chip, hypocritically speaking, maybe people will get attention. But like, for example, this artist woman, man, I really, when I look at her, Mikhail, oh my God, are you serious? She was saying, ellos son humanos y necesitan proteína. <laughs> you know, she wanted chicken por los presos. I mean, are you going to tell that to the people of El Salvador? Pobrecitos los mareros necesitan comer bien. Really, really? You think you think the people of El Salvador really need to listen to that? No. But not really. Hay otro dicho de un quien quien lo dijo Sócrates. Bueno, cada pueblo tiene el gobierno que se merece. And it's true. You know, cuando tuvimos a Sánchez, ¿ah? ¿eh? ¿Ah? True and said. True, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, and everything is democratically here, so. But yeah, so I was watching that. Um, no more eighty eighty four. Es bien claro porque miren, en español en el Salvador nosotros decimos diputados. Pero diputado en inglés es un deputy, y un deputy es un policía. ¿Ya? Yeah. Entonces, yo diría Congress, men or women. Porque todos son de congre del Congreso, right? The Congress. Okay, so 
No more 84 congressmen, now it's 60. So, so maybe I, I don't know, something's gonna happen. And that's have relations with the alcaldías. Oh yeah, that, I, the next step, I, how do you say alcaldías in, Eng, in, in English, do you know? No, I, I, I guess it is city hall. No. Yes, city hall. City hall. Okay. Yes, I, I think that's the next one. I think that's the next vote to reduce city halls. Hey, pero da, yo, yo, yo estaba más de acuerdo con la reducción de alcaldías que, que los diputados, man, porque habían unos pueblos como con 50 personas y tenían alcalde. Man. It was just ridiculous. Like, there was an area maybe of 2,000 people in the complete area, and there were 50 different city halls. So, and how can I say municipio? That's ese otra cosa. In Latin America, fíjate que en El Salvador hay cantón. Bueno, empezamos a presentar barrio. Caserío. Caserío, cantón. Oh, man, Muni. Hay tantas cosas, man, really, que yo creo que ni ellos mismos entienden. Entonces, en inglés no existe tanto eso porque no hay tantos. Hay ciudades y, y, y counties y pueblos. Yo creo que lo más cercano a municipios sería county. Counties. Yeah, porque yo realmente no sé qué es la diferencia de un caserío y un cantón. Yeah, I, Just I, la diferencia. I, you por, do? Por nacional, Sí, va. Oh. La división política del de Salvador es así. Primero tenemos, pues, El Salvador, ¿verdad? Luego mm -hmm. tenemos las zonas. La zona central, la zona oriental y la zona eh, occidental, si no se llama. Entonces, eh, después tenemos los departamentos. Entonces, después, estos departamentos se dividen a, actualmente en municipios. Cada municipio tiene, eh, digamos, su pueblito, su ciudad, digámoslo así, entre comillas. Y estos municipios tienen sus cantones. Y los cantones están constituidos por caseríos. Entonces, yo... <risa> es, es, es así porque, por ejemplo, eh, bueno, yo viví en un cantón. Entonces, <risa> eh, eh, yo vivía en un caserío que se llama Los Osorios. Entonces, es porque si no es, existen esas divisiones, eh, en los cantones no hay nombres de calles. Entonces, ni tampoco hay numeración. Entonces, okay. para entregar recibos y cosas por el estilo, no preguntan, eh, digamos que los repartidores tienen que preguntar, mire, conoce a la fulanita tal, del caserío tal. Entonces, ¿qué es la diferencia del cantón? Entonces, ¿qué, pero, ¿cuál es la diferencia del cantón y el caserío? ¿Cómo se va a saber qué es? Que los cantones, eh, que los caseríos es una subdivisión de los cantones. De los cantones. Ok. <risa> Yo viví en Cantón también, en Caserí, en Cantón. No. You know, one, you know one thing I really don't like, and I wish it disappears? I really don't like the Poniente, Oriente, Occidente. Oh, man, ¿por qué no pueden decir los cardinales normal norte, este, oeste? You know. But um, Poniente, you know, like, like Tercer Calle Poniente, Come on, man. Just say north, east, south, west. The normal, the normal. Y hay, hay, hay dirección uh, así. Que la sexta avenida sur, calle Poniente. Like, come on, man. Estamos usando sur y Poniente. So, what? You, use one. I'm sorry, Bert. Yeah, I think it's related to, I mean, just it's a hypothetical, I mean, idea. This is related to the religion because poniente y naciente. This mm. is the, the the east and the west 
I mean, the east is naciente. The, the sun rises in the east, it's naciente. And the sun set on the west is poniente. So I think it's already so mystical Maybe. to the Catholic uh, church when Jesus was born in the east and the devil set in the west. <laughs> Maybe. Here when I was a kid, I mean, that's that's a very good theory you know it makes sense it, 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 yeah maybe yeah that's good all right i don't know um si le había esto, but every day i pass by el magico gonzalez in the afternoon every day and i pass maybe at 5 p.m and me da lastima florecitos porque están los presos the, but not not the secot, preso de confianza. I think they are working in El Magico Gonzalez, and um, me imagino que trabajan como hasta las cuatro y medio cinco, porque cuando yo paso a las cinco ellos ya van en el bus, pero todos van así en la ventana, mm -hmm. and and they're like happy, like yo siempre les pito, and they go hey hey. You know, they, they, I don't know, they're happy people. So I, I think that's good. Dicen de que por cada dos días reducen un día de sentence or something like that. So I, I sent an idea to the Asamblea Legislativa, que yo sé que nunca me lo van a leer ese correo. But I said, why, why don't you pay, for example, Example, esto del secot, o, o los de Mariona. Make them work. Yes, make them work. But pay them. But, for example, imagine, I don't know, $1 a day. But let me finish. So imagine the, the Mariona's in secot. They will work doing something for El Salvador. Que vayan pupitres, que hagan algo para el país y que les paguen. But that money, they will never touch. That money will go to their children or somebody. Si tenían hijos regados. You know, so imagine, imagine if they pay them $1 a day. An example. So like, I don't know, every three months, la mamá de los hijos de estos imbéciles puede pasar a 320 dólares, que le caigo le va a ayudar. <laughs> I don't know, it was, it was an idea. Not, 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 so don't pay the, the prisoners, don't pay to help them. Pay the, the children or, or las familias que afectaron. Uh, I think that's, Cuando sea diputado, voy a poner eso. <laughs> okay, so let's do have you, have you, have you. Uh, da, 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 da. Have you ever met somebody famous? Angelica Lazo. Denia, have you ever met somebody famous? No, actually, no, teacher. I have, don't. I don't have. I have never. I, I never. I'm sorry. I have never. Really, you have never met somebody famous? No. By accident? No. No, actually, no. <laughs> uh -oh. I met Arjona by accident. Arjona in El Salvador, no. Yeah. Yes, in La Ola Betos. Oh. Um, it was, it was, it, and I met him because the place was empty. So my uncle, he was visiting. My uncle, my aunt, my family was visiting. So we went to the beach for, to uh, have lunch. And, you know, when you go to the beach, on a Tuesday or Wednesday, it's empty. 
but I noticed that there were Chanekes outside. I said, this is strange. I imagine there was like the president or somebody. And I ask, como siempre, el mesero, who is, who is here? Oh, Arjona. Yo, geez, pero que no fue como la semana pasada el concierto. Sí, pero aquí se ha quedado. He stayed here, so. Oh, so, pero no ha venido, me dice, quédate. Y ahí le pido un autógrafo, ya va a venir. Ah, tampoco. Pero, <clears throat> but he did, he came in. Why not? No, yeah, I mean, I like, I, <laughs> but, but. You know, he did. He came in, and since there was no people, he was very nice. He said hi to everybody. He shook the hand. Hey, hola, hola. You know. So I met, I met him. He's tall. He's very tall. I have met the Undertaker. Do you know the Undertaker? No. Yeah, I remember. Okay, you said that yeah. WWE, I met him, and I think I think that's the only famous people I have met. So, Denia, can you ask somebody, please? Have you ever, have you ever met? Have you ever gone? Have you ever eaten? Okay. Have you ever eaten? Excuse, excuse me, to who? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> let me okay. see. Uh... Angelica Lazo. Hi, Angelica. Hello. Have you ever eat, um, eaten? Eaten. Sorry, eaten. Um, no, excuse me, Daniel. I think it's good. Okay. Do you think this question is good? Preguntarle esto a Salvadoreño. Have you ever eaten pupusas? Ajá, eso se me vino a la mente, pero dije... Yeah, obvio, me imaginé por bien. eso. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> remember. Uh, re okay, so okay. remember. Be interesting. Be interesting. Don't ask something too obvio o tampoco algo... Nunca voy a decir, have you ever eaten snake? <laughs> no, you know, uh, so something some interesting. Some people eat... Sn some people, yes. Snake. Yeah. <laughs> But, no, pero es que a veces hay gente que se queda así... Um, have you ever eaten um, um, elephant? You need to say, okay, grammatically, the question is correct, but really? Have you ever eaten elephant? In, o sea, that question in El Salvador maybe is not very, maybe in Africa. <laughs> you know, maybe, I don't know, in some exotic country. So make, make the question interesting. Like, have you ever eaten sushi? Have you ever eaten, I don't know, eh, los panes mileños or something? Okay, so go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, okay, Angelica, have you ever eaten um, sevinachos in the Principito Park? No, I haven't. That's a I good don't question. Have it too, but I uh, want. <laughs> me too. I have never eaten, but I have seen and I want to go. They look... What is the so, name? Nacheritos. Sevinachos. Sevinachos. Ah, Sevinachos. <laughs> they, they look good. They look very good. Yeah, nacho with camarones, um, like a bomb. <laughs> but it's like nacho, Diana, the nachos, correct? Yes, nachos, Diana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, nacho, the, the, you want. so Angelica, there's a famous place. There's people they they invented many different foods with Diana nachos. So they make with nachos with mango. También. With mango, oh man! Oh, I have to go. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> In Parque Principito, In Santa Tecla, by the. Platillo. You know where oh. the hands? Yes, yes, I know. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, how do you say horario? I don't know. Oh, the schedule. I don't know, but I think the only schedule. on weekends. The, yes, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for 
5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Actually, my mom lives really close, but never I go to, to <laughs> take. Your, your mother <laughs> lives close in here and never eaten. Oh. Uh, Ronald? Ronald? Hi. I think your tu cachucha me le quedaron virus a la, a la compu. So. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was a gift. Maybe you can do Naib Bukele here and then. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> okay, Angelica Lasso, your turn. Good question, Denia. Thank Excuse you. me. And you know why that question was good? Abrió una conversation. Hmm. So, okay, Angelica, go ahead. Your turn. Okay. I'm um, Claudia Maria. Hello. Hi. Claudia, let's Hi. say, let's say, uh, Claudia, how old are you? 42. I'm 42 years old. Okay. So let's say Claudia Giron is, would be Claudia number one and Claudia number two would be Claudia Maria. <laughs> number one, ella porque es más jovencita. Okay. So, so we won't get confused. Claudia one, Claudia two. Okay. So ask Claudia two, please. Oh wait, okay. you live in Santa Tecla, Claudia too. So have you yes. ever, have you ever eaten in Principito? No, uh, no. And that seven nachos for me, it's like a bomb. Oh, okay, it's, it's bad for your the, stomach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have colitis or gastritis? <laughs> A, when, because I have a gastritis. <laughs> when, when, when you pass 40, everything is yeah. a bomb. Yes. You think when you are young, that is a lie, but not. Yeah. <laughs> when you are yeah, 20, <laughs> when you are in your 20s, you can eat 10 pupusas and it's fine. Yeah. And when you I don't think so. <laughs> No, after after 35, 40, you eat two pupusas, you're full, and se te quedan adentro. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's the problem. Okay, so ask ask Claudia too, please. Okay, Claudia, have you ever gone to Laberinto de Albania? Yes, I have. I I was very confused in the way uh, a children uh, a child. Show me the way. Which which laberinto? Albania. Uh, Albania. It's in Ataco. Oh or Ataco. yeah. Ah yeah. It's very beautiful. I got lost too there. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, me too. <laughs> really? You you actually get lost? Oh. Yeah. I, yes. I, I, I have never gone there, but I would like to go someday. Okay. All right, good. Claudia, to ask somebody except Denia and Angelica. Uh, okay. Alison. Hello. Hello. Have you ever eaten? Um, Kusuko? No, I have never eaten Kusuko. <laughs> For me, it's family, really weird. In family, in my family is very normal. <laughs> yeah, in my husband's family too, because he also have eaten Snake and a uh, uh, rabbit. <laughs> Wanna also a snake. Uh -huh. A snake. Culebra. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's the most uh, weird. Uh, that's the weirdest thing wait, wait, that I ever heard. Wait, about your about family it. eats snake. <laughs> My husband's family. Okay, I have, I have, I have two questions. <laughs> uh huh. Tell me. How, and why? Uh, and I, I don't know how, 
I just uh, know that um, his mother family mm -hmm. uh, living near to the forest and in quebradas and it, uh, snakes are very common so they they kill kill them mm -hmm. and then cook them <laughs> wow but also a medical thing it it is it is weird because the anesthesia i don't know how to say anesthesia uh, no les pega and uh, it's difficult when they when they have a surgery <laughs> So when the lights turn off, they se ven en oscuro y like like predator. Uh, they, they have to. They need more uh, doses. So, so if That's if dentist. if your husband's family, if your husband's family, they go to the dentist and they put anesthesia as ivy. Uh, mm, the, maybe we just need two times, for example, but maybe they need uh, five or four times to to don't feel the pain. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, good. Your turn. Okay, my turn. Um. Well, let me think. Um, um, I don't know. Um, the other Claudia. <laughs> Claudia one. <laughs> Claudia one. Yes. Um. I I don't know how how old are you? <laughs> I'm twenty five. Um, okay. Have you ever watched iCarly? Ah, uh, yes, when I was I know twelve years. <laughs> when I was twelve or thirteen, I remember. <laughs> Yes. Do you remember the Chanel 19 from, uh, I don't know how to say it, oh, Libre, free, for free? <laughs> yes, I remember that, that I have to um, move my antenna. How can I say it? Antenna. At my antenna. antenna. Uh -huh, I have to move because we usually have two, four, and six on the TV, <laughs> the national channel. Wait, what TV show are you talking about? iCarly. Yes, yeah. it was in 19, in channel 19. It's for Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember because I'm I am 26 and we are the, almost the same age. <laughs> okay, let me see. I'm checking it out. Oh, okay, iCarly. Okay, I remember. So it was like similar to like Zoe and Hannah Montana. And in mm, book, in book. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. In my time, in my time, it was the Transformers, He Man, GI Joes. That is why I don't like the movies today. The Transformer movies were terrible. Why? Um, okay, I'm how old are you? You said you're 26, right? Yes, did you watch The Little Mermaid, the original? Mm, no, I didn't watch any movie of Disney for those times. <laughs> oh, okay, what, what happened is that, like, for example, I, I remember the Transformers. When I was, a, I loved the Transformer. And when I was a little kid, one thing that the cartoons, the, um, Bert, you're 45, you're my age. Do you remember the Transformers? 
Yes, I do remember. Yes, I know. Claudia, do you remember him? Yeah, Joe. Okay, so I remember the Transformers when they transformed. You wow, you can. I remember that you can watch in the cartoon. You can see the Transformer. You can see the robot, and you knew what car he was. And when, remember when they transformed? Se miraba. You know, when they transformed in the movie. Like the little child's costumes that yes. are popular in the social media, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. And now in the movie, in the movie, I see robots. I don't see a, a car robot, you know? And when they transform, it's this big mess. And de repente has a car, you know? So that's so one. So don't you like the mm -hmm. Megan Fox movies? No, I like Megan <laughs> Fox. I like Megan Fox, but <laughs> what and, about the movie? <laughs> and uh, one thing I don't like, my favorite Transformer was Megatron. Megatron was cool, but Megatron was a gun. So now in the Transformer, Megatron is an airplane. So you say, why? <laughs> why do you need to change? the story for example the gi joes i have the gi joe toys when i was a little kid but i always remember the gi joes with the desert the army and now in the movie it's robots so no as a fan no now as people that okay, nunca vieron gi joes or transformers people say man it's a good movie Por ejemplo, dicen que la sirenita, de los que vieron la sirenita, eh, el pájaro que habla no es un pájaro, hoy es, es otra cosa. Y, I don't know. O sea, no sé por qué lo tienen que cambiar. <laughs> so, can you imagine He-Man y el negro? O, I, o, o se imaginan los pica piedras y, y Pedro Delgado. O sea, no. Don't change don't change the original story. I I saw um a picture about a new program of Netflix mm -hmm. and it's supposed that is about um Hitler and it's the, Will Smith. Yeah, uh, it's Will Smith. You know, is that true? So that I don't know. They the people say that it's true, but I'm I'm not sure. But you know what? I actually I saw that yesterday, I think, and I checked it on the internet. And yes, I see many news, but I don't I don't believe that Will yeah. Smith would accept that. Hitler was a, a fascista, racist. Hitler uh, was every bad thing you can imagine, but really yeah. put up black man to interpret Hitler? Mm, oh I my think yes. god, yeah. Was that, no. Maybe he is the producer. I don't know. Yes, but <laughs> still, he's not a very smart producer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know what's happening. Okay, so good. Alice, uh, Claudia one, ask somebody. Ask Ronald? Ask Angela or Bert? Or um, okay. Bell, and have you recently traveled by airplane? Mm -hmm. That's hello. That's for me. The question. Yes. Okay. Can you repeat the question, please? Have you ever traveled by airplane? Airplane? No, yes. I never have traveled by airplane. But I wish to travel by <laughs> airplane. But always had this like, this crazy idea that the airplane crash that's so sad i mean thinking about it but i, I will i will love to travel for airplane okay let me tell you something funny claudia like two weeks ago i went to el team marine <laughs> and um, i want to <laughs> oh yeah there's an airplane in the team marine right so I have a group of friends. I have a group of friends in my WhatsApp, de la colonia, you know, that my, my friends since I was little. 
And I don't know why, but I was inside the airplane in El Timarín and I took a selfie. And I had, it was, it was going to rain that day, so I had my son's sweater. So I put the sweater and I took a selfie of me in the, in, a la par de la ventana, la avión. And I put Barcelona, aquí vengo, and I sent a picture to my friends. <laughs> but in tono broma, you know, I don't think my friends were going to be so stupid to believe me. And they did believe me. Hey, wow. Barcelona, boy, yeah, so yeah. And then everybody, you know, they were chatting. And they, you know, you know, oh, oh. so this is cool. To make <laughs> the, the long story short, un mes lo estuve así, like the, I was in completely in Europe. Y ahí puse a prueba mi, mi edición porque me tomaba fotos, selfies y me ponía en la torre Eiffel en, en lugares así. <laughs> and I would send them. <laughs> Qué frío está haciendo aquí, amigos. And they believe me. <laughs> it was so funny. It's, and I thought, oh my god. So, if you want to, if you want to do that, go 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 one day to to Ting Marina and take a picture in the airplane inside. <laughs> I think conoceré Ibiza or something. <laughs> Okay, Bert, ask Ronald, ask Jonathan, or ask Angela. Okay, this is a creepy question that I'm going to ask the those dude. Uh, Ronald, have you ever eaten garrobo? <laughs> mm. uh, hi, no, I have never eaten garrobo. I don't support that kind of activities because i don't i even don't like to eat seafood i just eat beef or chicken because i remember one day i ate shrimps shrimps it's that okay yeah okay and i got a stomach cake so i uh that day i said to myself that i i wouldn't want to taste something new or out of out of the box or something extraordinary because maybe exotic my, food exotic food yes because my stom stomach wouldn't bear that experience so <laughs> i don't but if people around me like uncles or neighbors they they do and i don't know why it's i consider it uh, disgusting but I respect people who do that. Yeah, I agree with you, Ronald. Uh, I don't like either to eat, but here in San Miguel, this is so common to me. I saw so sad to watch people killing those animals because they deserve to live. And so I think any kind, but the thing is, uh, what I want to um, remark is our hypocrisy because we kill chicken we kill pork we kill cow but on the other hand we criticize the people that kill these other animals like oh, in china they eat cat they eat dogs and rat Everything. and for us that is disgusting it's really horrible even thinking about it Think about it. What a Hindi person think that we eat uh, me uh, beef. They don't do that because they think that the cow is sacred. So this is a different view that we have. This is a different culture. But at the end of the day, I, I think is not any animal should be murdered for food. But that's what I think. But you're right. I agree with you. You know, it is true. Um, I I think it's very difficult to be a vegetarian because I love meat. But um, uh, well, for example, in the United States, ¿cómo es que se el mat matadero? El slaughterhouse, donde los matan, ¿cómo se llama? Matadero, right? Slaughterhouse, I guess it's okay. It's slaughterhouse. There is a law that um, the animal has to be killed immediately. Boom. Um, 
there's a primer process on boom so the animal won't suffer but that's not an excuse but have you seen the videos of people in china they're eating in restaurants and el sapo the frog it's like lo corta in, in asia it is it is it's supposed that is for fertility eat a dog soup no but in uh, Korea. Uh, dog soup. no but I, i've seen some videos in in um, china in the restaurants they get a frog alive and they chop it in half and they put it in your plate but you see the frog is viva, like moving and yeah, and, you know, and, and and they're happy just eating the intestines from the frog and also fish and octopus and yeah seafood. that that and i would i could never do i could never see oh my god my food has is moving <laughs> Los cangrejitos, man. Eso sí no the thing is that they think that it's fresher and it is better than uh, our cooked food. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm not surprised coronavirus existed. <laughs> Yeah, that's why. Wow, that's that's terrible. Okay. Um Angela. Angela, have you ever eaten fritada? Yes, I have eaten fritada. Good. I love I love fritada. So so good. Yes. Now, now this is something this food I love. This is one of my favorite foods, but I never knew what it was. Because when I was a little boy, my mother. I know. No, no, I, I, rellenos de ubre. Have you ever eaten rellenos de ubre? Yes. I... Man, they are so, so good. But when I was, when I was a little boy, my mother made me. I said, man, this is good, okay, mom. Chicken. You know como la quiere la mamá, es todo, right? Chicken, oh, man. Mamá, haceme de aquel pollo aquí. Me gusta, okay. Ya cuando estaba grande y viejo, me dice, mira, ese es lo que te gusta. El ubre, la chicha de la vaca. Like, what? <laughs> ¿Por qué no me dijiste? Pues sí. ¿Te lo atajo o no? <laughs> you know my mom. <laughs> yeah, okay, then shut up. Eat it, it's good. <laughs> But, and and what is what is fritada? Is that pork? Yes, fritada is everything from the pork in the head. It's the nose, the La blood, pizzeras. the blood. La mm -hmm. In general. Yeah. The, the brain, the ears. Pipa. Casi. But I, un I understand there is a bacteria on the into the pork's brain and it could be dangerous or it's not located in, in that part. Into the pork meat in meat, general. In the, the whole, the whole body. Yes, in uh, general. Okay. But you know what, Ronald? I heard that theory for, for many, many years, but I never hear people getting sick. <laughs> you know? Because they, they die before saying that no i i've heard about but i think i think i think now the control is better maybe maybe the control of the pork is better because before maybe it was it is supposed that is a uh, very visual to see if the if the meat is uh, contaminated i don't know how to say contaminated contaminated, contaminated. Uh -huh. and in my mom my mom was really poor when he was. She was a, a little girl, and they they told me that uh, when her aunt killed uh, a pork a uh, pig, uh, the and if the pig has the that uh, virus, 
they she the the aunt she uh, gave gave her the meat to to my mother's family so they they have to clean the the meat and and then eat 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 eat, eat, eat. <laughs> wow yeah that's crazy. Mm. Yeah, um, you know that that's something I don't understand, and I I just realized a week ago that there is a, a soap, and it is the sopa sopa de pata, and I always had the doubt of which was the animal it was made from, because I thought it was like they were eating like animals feet, because that's the name of the of the soap. It is, a, I, I, it, it is a feat. It is, but I was told it was a, like the, the the belly of. I I, I was to, I was told the animal, but I don't remember. But it was like a regular animal. Like, Wait, you have never eaten sopa de pata in your life? No, I mean I have, but I didn't know what it was made from, like okay. the animal. It's it's made from a cow's foot. From what? I'm sorry. From beef. The set, uh, From the beef. Leg. Yeah, the the, uh, foot, the the leg. It's actually the, the complete leg. But the thing is that the flavor of the soup comes from the bone. Uh, of the leg. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then they put like the tripa and 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 extra el nervio. But yes, it is a, a it is an actual leg of the cow. Uh, uh, ah, the cow, yes, that was the, the animal. But I, I, I asked, well, it should be called like sopa de res, like the other one, but any other version. Have you ever eaten, what, well, yeah, complete, everybody in the class, have you ever eaten sopa de pata? I imagine everybody has, correct? No, I don't. Yes, I have. Yes. Yeah. I have never eaten sopa de pata. Really? It's, I, I love sopa de pata. Have you, I have eaten yeah. sopa de pata at six in the morning. No. Sorry about you. <laughs> you know, I, I know, and you know why? Because I remember my cousin, he told me, have you ever eaten sopa de pata at six in the morning? I said, no. Pero recién hecha. Who is going to make sopa de pata at six in the morning? So, and al mercado central, and you'll see. And no, I don't believe you. So we went. We went like at five in the morning to the Mercado Central. Oh my God. Se lo juro, llegamos. You know how you expect to see huevos, pancakes, whatever. No, yeah, carne asada and everything. And they had sopa de pata. So, I have eaten sopa de tortilla by 4 a.m. or 3 a.m., but that's the. The only thing I have eaten by and in the let, morning. <laughs> let me guess, were you drinking that night? Yes, I and I told my friend I I know how to prepare it, and he said no, you don't. I show you, and and I did it, and he fell in love with that soap. You actually did. My, it. You made yes, it. Yes, my mom taught me. Yes, and I had all the ingredients: the the tortilla, the chips. And you were and, drunk, so everything was good. Yes, no, 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 because we, we tasted it the next day and it was still good. Oh, man. Hey, that's, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> okay, that's good. And so that is present perfect. Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever? Thank I you. want to know, have you ever seen the rain? Remember that song? Hello. Hey, ¿Se acuerdan que algo que fue en la clase pasada que les hice un comentario de esa canción? Que en español el dicho es siempre la calma viene después de la tormenta, ¿verdad? Right? Yes. Pero en inglés es al revés. La calma viene antes de la tormenta y tiene más lógica en inglés. Y la gente. No, pero la gente me dice, hey, pero la calma no es después de la tormenta. La de... Porque, vaya, por ejemplo, en esa. Oye, lo que dice, someone told me long ago, there's a calm 
before the storm. I know. And the reason why I, I actually read it in the internet, the calm before the storm is la tormenta succiona todo el aire o toda la... Para después quizás como escupirlo. So, y es cierto, si ustedes ven cuando va a llover fuerte, hay una gran calma. Pero también está después, pero nunca voy a saber si cuál es la forma correcta, antes o después. Después. In Spanish. <laughs> pero en inglés nadie le va a decir, there's a calm after the storm. Le van a decir, what? Oh. No, it's before the storm. Before the storm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, no, 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 o sea, no, lo, lo que digo, en español decimos después, pero en inglés es antes, entonces saber cuál es la correcta. <laughs> okay, then, class, thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Have a thank wonderful you. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Bye, Bye. 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 everyone. Bye.